Dennis, Dennis, tell me, what is wrong with the world? So many things. Like what? Almost half the world, over 3 billion people, live on less than $2.50 a day. Hmm, and? 1 billion children live in poverty. 640 million live without adequate shelter. Anything else? The world is spinning out of control. Man pollutes the water they drink from and the land they live on and the air they breathe. I agree, and my children don't understand that they are forcing the climate, causing a perfect storm. Dennis, how can we control all delete these global changes before it's too late? Some of the unique things I have done to help erase my carbon footprint are to reduce, reuse, recycle, and free cycle. Many of the structures that I have built, I have used free cycled materials. One man's trash is another's treasure. These are very good ideas. I know there are others like you that do the same. What else can be done to help reduce our carbon footprint? Composting, as well as planting trees and plants, are other ways to further reduce our footprint. Going green is great. I know that burning less fossil fuel is the way to go. We must look at other energy sources, such as solar, wind, hydro, geothermal, and ocean wave energy. These are all great. But do you really think everyone can agree to do this? No. I feel there is and always will be a definite lack of participation. In hopes to minimize our carbon footprint, others just don't care. They will be reluctant to change. Who will slow emissions in the Americas, Asia, or wherever our products are outsourced to? Dennis, think outside the box. There has to be a temporary solution to control, alter, and delete this problem. Is there any way that we can do something to buy mankind time to clean up his mess? A screen around Earth that could deflect, block, and absorb some of the solar rays. Plants can still grow in here. However, it is much cooler in here than it is out there. Someone must have thought of this idea before. Sure. Some people have thought of putting millions of little mirrors in space to impede the sun's solar rays. This would never be allowed because it would pose a bigger problem to future spacecrafts and satellites. Doesn't sound too promising. No, not too promising. Are there any other ideas out there? Yes, some people have studied what happens after a volcano erupts and how it causes the Earth's temperature to drop. So what if man was to create its own clouds? Would this work? Some think it would, but it wouldn't. Why is that? These people aren't looking at the big picture. They're forgetting the fundamentals of convection. How air, water, and heat rotate in circular patterns. Sounds like the perfect storm. Again, not too promising. Is there any way to make this screen idea work? Yes, if it was outside our atmosphere, from space, it would block, deflect, and absorb some of the sun's solar rays. I can see how this could work, but I see problems. For starters, it is so big. It doesn't have to totally encompass the Earth. It only has to impede 1% of the sun's total emissions. I see. And what do you suggest we make this screen out of? Nickel. Pure nickel. Why nickel? Because nickel isn't poisonous to humans or to animals. So a screen around the equator made up of millions of coins? No, the nickel would be an ultra-fine powder. So fine it wouldn't be damaging to shuttles or satellites. Here, let me show you. This is the nickel I am blasting over my hand. If this was abrasive or damaging, I would be in a lot of pain and most likely bleeding. I would also put it further out in space so it wouldn't interact or interfere with satellites. I see. Tell me more. Nickel is a common material found in coins and is used in cell phones, notebooks, or anything with touchscreen capabilities. And the best thing about nickel is that it is magnetic. This makes the whole idea controllable and reversible. What do you mean controllable and reversible? My idea is like no other. It not only has the ability to be controlled, but also altered and deleted. Let me explain. 
We need something now to control the rate at which our global temperature is rising. With my idea, we put just enough material into outer space. The cost of the material, shipping and handling not included, is only 100 million US dollars. One might think that this is a lot, but is it really? It's only money. If, for instance, we know a country is going through a drought or very hot season, we'll call this a critical zone. Using simple satellites equipped with electromagnets, this nickel belt can be altered. The satellites can collect the nickel and disperse it over the critical zone. Once the temperature in this zone is controlled, the nickel can be collected and dispersed again in other critical zones. Maybe, just maybe mankind can actually make a difference, or at least buy some time to clean up his act. Exactly. My idea is not meant to be a permanent fix to our problem. During this controlled time, man must reduce, reuse, recycle. He must set up solar, wind, wave, and earth-friendly energy stations. He must continue to make advances in using less fossil fuels. When man has cleaned up his act and done this, my idea can be completely deleted or put on hold. The satellites could collect all of the nickel and use it only over the critical zones at critical times. Tell my children what you need. I just need a few people to see a possibility in my idea. I know further, proper testing needs to be done in a vacuum and in a wind tunnel. I will be going to NASA to complete these tests. I am asking you to talk about and share this video with anybody and everybody. Share it with friends in radio and TV. Share it with people in other countries. If you would like to help support my testing at the NASA Research Center or help get this video translated, visit my website at cadclimatechange.com.